Just cleaned up the cage. Hey girlies. So this is a different cage build that I've not done before. You guys are funny. And the reason why I haven't done it before is I've made quite a bit of stuff for this. <laughs> um, I got these from Asda. I've been asked where, like, in Asda we get them, and for whatever reason, I find these where the baby food is. I don't know, I would expect that you'd find baby toys with the rest of the baby toys, but I don't. Hi! <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, bye. Anyways, um... I didn't quite know what to do with this, but since I bought like three packs of these, I figure I'll just start hanging stuff and see how it goes. And I'm actually quite surprised how versatile I can get a lot of the gear that I've put in here, um, just because of these. So up here, I've made this, which is why it doesn't look that nice. Um, so you have the upper upper part and you have the lower level. Um, I've taken these things and I've strung it across the back because I had a bunch of extras and I made like this little drapery. I made this shelf, so it's one of the floating shelves. Um, I've got a Sputnik here, but this Sputnik, oop, I'm sorry, okay, I'll put that down. That Sputnik never came with the bottom half, so we got that on clearance at Pets at Home and I decided, well, I'm gonna turn it into a teepee. So until I can sew something to actually put over the Sputnik, um, it's just got two layers of fleece. Slushy is hidden one of her treats back there and somebody found it. That's why I don't want her to hoard back there, but you do anyways. Hello. So plenty of climbing things. I love the color of these, so we bought a ton of them. And they're not really expensive either, so might as well. Got that from Asda as well a couple weeks back. Um oop, if I can reach it. This is from the range. I think it was just a pound for that one. And then I got that bird toy here as well. That was just a pound. So, yep, that's the top level. And you've got a couple little wiffle balls with bells, a few dishes on this level, and their wheel. So that's this one. And then we're gonna go down to this level. So this cage is something that we put together. Or rather, actually, Stu put this together when he had his boys but we have two girls at the moment, which is about to be four. So you've got the hole back there. We cut that out and I protect the edges. Um, there's fleece that wraps around and then I clip it shut. So it's it's all protected. There's no sharp bits, but I'd rather be safe because I mean, even that, nah. Right, so you come down and I've got another one of my shelves that I made. So it's two layers of fleece, um, and then I hand sewed my split rings onto it and just did that, because I don't know what I'm doing with um, uh, sewing rat things, so. Um, tried to make sure that it's something that um, will hold up against them, at least for now. Ours don't usually eat fleece, so hopefully we'll be okay. Some extras on the outside for now. And then I made that one as well. So I wanted to go with the, the pink and gray combination. So that one's bigger. This is the second one I made. So to be honest, I think I like that size a lot better than I like that one, because that one's rather small, but Slushy likes it. <laughs> All right, going down, we've got one of the ladders here. Uh, I'll put something in the back here in a bit, but I'm not entirely sure what one I want to put there yet. So I've got these baby rings going down into that. There's just a bunch of fleece in there at the moment. So if we go to this side, there you go. So we've got the big tube. Then I got my fleece wrapped base here. And then to get down off of that one, I've got another one of my ladders. And then that goes down into a Sputnik. So that Sputnik I'm gonna wrap as well. Um, you got their poo catcher down there, which, yeah. <laughs> and then just that hanging down. Um, and their water, water. I want to put so one of my water bowls in here. I just need to find a, uh, a heavier one. I have two, like, cute heart ones, but I find that they can knock that one over, so I need something heavier. 
Hello. So, yep, they're already making a mess, but that's rats. I wouldn't trade these two for anything. They are hilarious. So, I need to put some more fleece in that for them. Oh, there's a poo. Thank you. So, that is my mini cage tour. Mini for like six minutes, you know. And then I have extra storage at the top for them. Um, I keep a blanket, I'll just say that for now. I keep this blanket here because it protects against my netting and then I also have lights and the lights actually go all the way behind. So when I turn them on, it looks like little stars behind. It's actually really cute, but it's far enough away. So there's about that much gap. Um, so they can't get to anything else and they obviously can't get to that wire. They've never tried, but you know, better safe than sorry. I don't want two fried rats. Not these two. So that's this week's. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do for next week, but I'll make some more stuff, I suppose. <laughs> and we'll have two little newcomers next week as well. We've got two babies coming and I'm not sure what names we're gonna give them yet. I like the name Mango, but we laughed and wanna name one Adele. <laughs> Or I should do like Adele and Tom Jones. <laughs> Anyways, all right, take care guys. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna see more ratty stuff or artwork or tutorials or anything like that, hit the subscribe button down below and we'll be happy to show you more stuff. Bye.